Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're checking out a great little networking app when it comes to the Android operating system, NetX Network Tools Pro. You open it up, and if this is the first time opening it, you're not going to see anything in this list. You press the scan in the top right, and it'll scan everything that is on your wireless network. It'll give you an idea of everything that's on your wireless network, and then you get to go through, and if you know what it is, you can give it your own personalized icon on the right hand side for some reason the scan's going a little bit slower than there we go anyways yeah yeah so if you click on the unit itself and then click on the item you can add all kinds of different icons which is really nice really personalized for your home network you'll know exactly what's going on here you come over here to tools you hit the ping and you can actually ping it right off right from here or there's even an option you don't even have to search to ping there's just a ping ping and then you can ping in the ip number and it'll ping 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 and uh trace route which is always nice if you're dealing with complicated networks port scans which is definitely pretty cool you can uh you can just click the unit and scan the ports which is very nice I'll once again show you what ports are open what you can communicate with and hopefully you won't be wanting to do or trying to do anything nefarious with it anyways we have ssh we have notes you can put in notes and then over here in the settings well you get to see more settings yeah it's pretty cool that you can change the icon you can also change it if, if you know what it is or not you can put a little exclamation mark over there and i haven't gotten it to send me any exclamation marks i haven't but one interesting thing is not all things will ping now that i say that everything i select is pinging but when i was trying it this morning i was not having a good time getting everything to ping now one of the things that's really cool about this one of my favorite parts about this is you can export data to csv that has been exported successfully i tried this yesterday and it didn't work i gave up and then all of a sudden it started work you can back up your database too which once again is really nice stuff this is a really good app there's a lot of apps that have there's a lot of individual apps that have this stuff free this thing was free for me but it costs about three bucks if you're going to pay for it so we get a speed test you can hit play and then it'll give you your speed test you know nothing too exciting about that just your average speed test and then of course we get the wi-fi scan we've already done a wi-fi scan network tools we can uh, come in here and then post whatever we want to ping and then we can do a trace route you know put in the ip number what you want and it'll do a trace route and that'll that'll show you exactly how far it has to go before it gets to the place you're looking for a port scan you put in the ip number of you of what you want to have the port scan the ip calculator ip location so this is really cool if you put in a certain ip address it will show you the who is it'll show you information on where in the world ip location one sec it'll show you where in the world if if you have it in portrait this is in landscape and if i come out it'll mess up the recording but as you can see on the bottom it does show you the map i just can't see it in this version as i'm recording but it will show you a location but i'm telling you if it pops up into the middle of the map in the united states and you're searching for something in the united states then you have gone to the wrong place and there is, a, there is, is actually a house in that location if you get this default middle of the country location and the cops go there all the time because apps like this they don't they don't want to wait until the official information comes out they they use apps like this they get a location and if it's default or if it's in a certain number it, it just goes to some place i believe it's in kansas and cops go there all the time the local sheriff has actually put a posting up in that location saying this isn't these aren't the droids you're looking for so that's really cool the network locations and yeah yeah so everything that you could want in a networking app is here i definitely think it's worth three bucks if you just want all this stuff just put the money down blam there you go you got it it's good stuff i like it i really like it i've used it at work i wish i could show you what i've used it for at work but work would kick my butt of course <laughs> but ultimately yeah i definitely recommend you guys check this out once again it'll uh it'll give you an idea at the bottom left of all the all of the items exactly what it is but they're not all correct most of them are what they do is they get the mac address and they put it up up against a a uh, catalog 
I'm trying to find it. I, I'm not seeing it right now, but last night I was saying I had an HTC device, and I definitely do not have an HTC device. Yeah, there we go. I definitely don't have an HTC device, so I'm going to be trying to figure out exactly what that is. And maybe, you know, I'm going to put a yeah notification to see if it actually tells me anything about it. But I don't even think my neighbors have an HTC device. Product agent for Windows. So I got to figure out exactly what that one was. Anyways, good way to monitor your network. I definitely recommend it. It is absolutely good stuff. And it was worth the free price that I paid for it. And I think that you guys should be checking it out too. It'll even give you your external IP. So I guess that means I'm not posting this until uh, my external IP changes in two weeks. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. Take care of each other. And, uh, yeah, be good. Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.